Fuck it. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi. And then. I don't get Dan Howell as a full time internet homo trend because that's too long and insensitive. <laughs> hi. Nice haircut, said Emily. Thanks. It's a bit windy, which is why it looks wavy. Shout out to Evan for warming up my audience. I see you have located your show from Shows 2 to Dan is Not on Fire Room, I jest. Um, Q&A already? God, I've only just gotten here. Hi. Um, I suppose I should tweet the type of gun. Tweet and Facebook. I always spend 10 minutes lining this up, which is why if I'm ever one minute after nine for a show that I haven't said will be later than nine, it's because I'm typing out a tweet, <laughs> which is exciting. Hi, you're on early, said Emma. Am I? Lol. Hopefully you don't crash again. Hopefully not. I've got the guy from you now on Skype, like, will the website work? I don't want trust issues. Hi. Spotify update, please, said Millie. Already? Oh, God, I should have straightened my fringe before I go on here, said Dan. Trying to convince everybody he's not a flaming metrosexual. Right. You look snuggly. Thanks. I'm wearing a jumper. Um... Thanks, DJ Kelly House, for putting me in jail. Is that your real name? DJ Kelly House in the hizzle. Okay. So, one word, how are you doing? Right now, three, two, one, go in the chat. How are you feeling? Going Hobbit hair, this is, this is, if you think this is Hobbit hair, you have not seen the Hobbit hair. <laughs> um, treacherous, said Julie. Good start, good start. Uh, Krusty said Chloe, congratulations. Horry, said Abby, who's so horny she couldn't even spell the name right. Um, saucy, said Lydia. Exquisite, said Jody. that's good. Someone just said they're feeling 22. I got that reference. I wouldn't if I didn't have to work at the radio station. <laughs> Whimsical, Callum S is feeling porky. Shout out to Callum for feeling porky. I really want to know what that's like. What are we doing with adjectives? Everybody's telling me how they're doing, Courtney. Someone said, fabulous, and then type some glitter into the chat. I appreciate that. I often spend quite a while wanting to draw glitter in text and struggling. Zara's feeling Blair. Cheer up, Zara. Ba -ba -da. Okay. So generally a complete uh, slide on the human emotional spectrum, ranging from happiness to sadness to inanimate objects that you clearly can't feel. Feeling gutted, said Andrea. That's not good. Don't feel gutted. I feel horrific, said Nathan. Okay, this is just, this is good. we're climbing into the negative now. Let's break out. <laughs> so, whoa, I meant to turn down the brightness, not up. Look what happens if I turn up the brightness on my screen. It's like, hi, I am the moon. Yeah, so this is obviously much better because now I look like I'm in a cave. So, um, everyone's feeling good. That's good. How did we like my last video? Which is a thing that I should probably talk about. The apartment tour. I thought that was good. I never usually like my videos by the time I've finished editing them for 15 hours because I get so disgusted with my own voice and face, but I thought that one was... I was quite happy with it. We all love the butt chair, said Lily. Yeah, thanks. How do you manage to talk to a computer screen? OMFG. I don't know. It's a lonely life. Very lonely existence. Wow, this time I'm watching you live. Yes, Hannah. How exciting. Now I'm ready to stalk you, said Oxanity. Thanks. How long did your video take, said Shan B? I filmed it twice, and there was a lot to edit together, so it took freaking ages, but it was worth it at the end. It was worth it in the end. Did they model the butt chair off you? Uh, yeah, of course they did. That's just, <laughs> that's what my butt looks like. I mean, it's not like you've seen my butt every time I stand up ever, because my belt doesn't work, but hey. Have you listened to the new Fall Out Boy album? Dan says, singing Paramore. Yeah, I have. Um, I need to listen to it more. Generally, it sounds quite good. I haven't decided on a favourite song. Although, strangely, I listened to Tyler the Creator's new album once, and I was like, this is freaking awesome. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe the Fall Out Boy album is a glower. I love it. It's epic, said Chrissy. Good. Ella said, my dad bought me Muse tickets. That's going to be awesome. You can always guarantee on a Muse gig being amazing. 
um, please play some piano later. No, because I only know two songs and I bad. <laughs> I love Save Rock and Roll. How do you jeep up with these comments, said somebody. Paranor's new album, haven't listened to it. Although I heard that she was very angry at a Rolling Stone review. Uh-oh. What's your favourite song on Wolf? Hmm. Uh, I, mm, I think uh, I, I Think Hate You is probably the, the best song. An absolutely amazing video. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. Say literally, said somebody. There we go. I hope it changed your life. <laughs> Are you going to Reading Festival this year? I probably have to work at Reading Festival this year now that I'm a corporate whore at the whim of the BBC. What is my hair doing? I'm such an awful person. I should do this before I go live in front of a billion people. Oh dear. But have you seen the goddamn apartment tour, said people. Yeah. So, I love that uh, <laughs> some people didn't get the deliberate sarcasm. Because obviously I, um, the joke was, um, I didn't know if I wanted to do an apartment tour. Because generally they're a bit cringy to just be like, look at my furniture. And, um, generally, and people were either like, throughout the entire year, as soon as I moved in, going, when are you going to do an apartment tour? Or going, oh Jesus Christ, don't do that, please, please don't. So I deliberately put it on my, uh, video takeover thing, because I knew that it would, um, it would get voted for. Um, and obviously it was the second most popular thing. Um, and obviously so I decided to do the kind of, oh, I wish I didn't have to do this stupid video, but actually I was really looking forward to making it and it turned out quite good. But a load of people were like, God fucking damn it, can't believe we voted for a department tour, look how sad Dan is that he had to make this. And I'm like, oh God, guys, that was, I was being sarcastic. I'm not actually angry at the fact I have to make something in the video, otherwise I wouldn't put it in the options. So for any of you who were offended, just note that I am joking 99% of the time when I do anything. If, if I do something and you are offended or confused by it, then I probably didn't mean it and it was a joke. That's, that's an instant way to understand me a lot better. <laughs> what about the other 1%? I'm a goldfish. What did I just say? 99%? 99. Well, the other 1% is like now. I'm just talking to you. I'm not being sarcastic. Poor Dan always has to explain everything. You do, Zara. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> oh, dear. My life. Erin said she's going to study abroad in London in a year. That'll be cool. Did you enjoy the Twitter fight between One Direction and The Wanted? Holy crap! Yeah! I mean, obviously I was planning and doing my radio show all Sunday, so I didn't see it as it happened. But then I woke up on Monday. Well, I think I was on Twitter and people were like, Dan, have you seen this thing? And I was like, what? Okay. But then I woke up the next day and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, that was pretty dramatic, wasn't it? It was like, um, I'm not going to publicly declare sides because if there's any One Direction or the Wanted fans and I just say, I think the other person won the fight, they'd instantly hate me and unsubscribe because that's what fans are like, which is why fans are fun. But uh, I think uh, One Direction team was sassier, but in my opinion... What was it? Was it Tom or Jay from The Wanted? He kind of killed it when he uh, was a bit homophobic. That was like, oh, awkward. You just made this really weird. So, I mean, all fun and games until a member of The Wanted makes a gay joke. Classy. <laughs> He's the worst one anyway. I feel sorry for Harry Styles and Nathan because they just don't like getting involved in any drama. They're like me. Drama's happening and they're just like, Ugh. <laughs> Louis is the sass master from Doncaster, said Laura G. Yeah. Do, do rock bands ever get in drama? It's hard to say. I mean, obviously there's like Paramore internal drama, but there doesn't really tend to be that much rock band into band drama, does there? It's, it's usually internal. And Niles, Niles, oh, Muse versus Oasis. It's not really Muse versus Oasis, it's more kind of like Noel Gallagher being a twat <laughs> against the entire world. An incredibly talented twat. Who everyone loves, but knows is a twat. My Chemical Romance is broken up, said Beth. I know. Sad, right? Very sad. I was just into the Black Parade the other day, and I was like, oh my god, this is like one of the best albums ever. Because I think I have more nostalgia for Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, but the Black Parade is just such a good album. Like, what the hell? 
everyone's saying Niall's what? Oh, Niall is mostly innocent in Drama 3, apart from when he calls people at the airport a shower of sea worlds, which is my favourite video of all time. <laughs> Your hair's getting long, Dan, said Emma. I just had a haircut, Emma! How is my hair getting long? I literally had a haircut three hours ago. My hair's getting long. <laughs> Do you like Imagine Dragons? I've heard a load of songs of the new album that are good. So by that extension, I'd say that from what I've heard, I do like Imagine Dragons. I was complaining that I have no mu new music to listen to, and then all of a sudden Fall Out Boy, Tyler the Creator, Paramore, all came out in one big lump. Bastille. Do you follow fans on Twitter, said Matthew? No, Matthew, because otherwise I wouldn't... I, I like actually using my Twitter feed, and if I did, then... Also, not to be a snarky bastard, but I don't really like the whole kind of hashtag follow spree. You know what I mean? Do something interesting on Twitter, but just following sprees is like... Ugh. I feel like you shouldn't, you shouldn't see uh, an interaction with someone famous, not that I'm famous, but um, as like a thing that you need to get. You know, people are like, I'm not going to sleep until Justin Bieber or Guy from All Time Low replies me. And it's like, why? Just, you don't need to. Just like them, tweet them. Maybe they'll reply and that'd be great. You don't need to cry yourself to sleep until they follow you on Twitter because that doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I, I go on Twitter and I reply to people whenever I look at my app replies. If they say something I want to reply to, that's, that's just how the world works. Sing us something, Dan, said Alison. No. <laughs> Do you know we know you in Venezuela? Um, a few. Says Dan, he said he wouldn't sleep till he found Phil on Omegle. Uh, finding someone on Omegle is different, because then it's like, how long do I have to sit on this website full of penises until I find a YouTuber? That's fun. I'd do that, but I... I mean, there's something about YouTubers and people going on Omegle that it's like, I'm making loads of young people just see loads of old man penis by doing this, so that's... it's not good. Don't go on Omegle. Just, just don't go on Omegle. It's just penises. Not even good penises. <laughs> I joke. I, I shouldn't joke. It's just a mistake. Be aware of the ASL, said Cameron. Be very aware of the ASL on those websites. Do, 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 do. I like how you always go on you now during my seventh grade class. Well, that's what happens when I live in England and you live in wherever you live. <laughs> LA? I don't know. Where are you? Hawaii. I can't guess. Did you go to Florida, said Simona? I did, to go to a YouTube thing where I met loads of you guys and it was pretty fun. Teddy bear in the back is cute. My teddy bear. Oh, yes. It's Mamma Mia. My grandma went to see Mamma Mia at a West End musical and she brought, she bought me that. How cute is that, right? My grandma bought me a Mamma Mia there. Anushka said, um, or was it Anushka? Says, do you play League of Legends? I would, but it would probably destroy my entire life. Um, someone said, are you sad they closed down VU? Yeah, um, I'm sad that they closed it down. Um, although, I keep seeing, ugh, like, I deleted, like, loads of really old questions because, um, I, I used to answer those really cringe questions like, Dad, how do you feel about yourself? And I'd be like, I hate everything about myself. And I'm like, I watch that back now and I'm like, that's factually inaccurate, stupid, and it sends a bad message. So I wish people would stop posting gifts of uh, questions I answered three years ago because I don't have the same answers to those questions. <laughs> Jack or Finn? Well, which one's the better twin? Where did your earrings go? I had my the, my favorite ones, which are like these black circles, but then I lost them in Florida. Do you reckon you'll overtake Jack's cap one day? Um, me and Jack and Finn are so close to each other constantly that it doesn't really matter. If I wanted more subscribers, I could have more subscribers. I'm happy for them to currently have a few 10,000 more than me. It doesn't really matter. I've never heard of you, said Claudia. I am a YouTuber. Click on the YouTube button if you want to watch my videos. Da 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 da! Exciting. Hey! Muriel said, are you going to do a Q&A today? Do you think I should do a Q&A, guys? I'll ask the people in the chat. So, someone said, a few 10,000? Like, that's not a big deal. Well, uh, between us two it isn't. Yes, said people. Cool. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I'm going to say this at the start because uh, I don't like saying it at the end. If you are new to this, <laughs> no, said Daisy. Well, yes, please trend hashtag necrophilia. That is an extremely bad idea. Let's let's not trend hashtag necrophilia. That's <laughs> I'm probably going to get arrested if that happens. Um, what was I just saying? Yeah, uh, I do these live shows every Tuesday around this time. I'll usually tweet um, what time I do it. If you want to join in the fun and you haven't yet, it's pretty easy. Sign in with Facebook in the corner, blah, 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 skip, 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 so people don't see you stalking, and then click become a fan. Da, 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 welcome to you now. Join in the chat. Take snapshots of me blinking, and then tweet them at me to make me feel insecure about myself. <laughs> That's what we're here to do. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks to Catherine and Casper and Vicky and Annie and Sophie and all those people that pressed the button. Thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you have no idea, F idea who I am, there's buttons down there. They'll link you to my website. Hey. Ba, 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 ba. Can you see my name? Now, do you see? See, that's the kind of, that's kind of the same thing as follow me on Twitter. It's like you, you shouldn't be sad if your favorite person doesn't say your name on you now. Because it, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not that interesting. <laughs> in any way. So, yeah, uh, I caught a mouse the other day. Caught a mouse. Check me out, I'm a ninja. Um, I had pizza, and I put the pizza box on the floor, because I recycle cardboard, because I'm just, I'm freaking Mother Teresa and Jesus rolled into one. I'm just going to put that out there. And the mouse, a mouse snuck into the pizza box, and uh, someone said, you're a necrophiliac, thank you. Um, so I picked up the pizza box, and I shook the bottom of the pizza box into a coffee tin, put the lid on the coffee tin, went outside and put the mouse outside. Oh, oh. Someone said, so it's ended. Um, no, I think that there, there, there may be more than one mouse. I guess we'll see if I get attacked by another one. <laughs> Do you read Homestuck? No, isn't there like a million hours of that now? It's like Supernatural. I feel like I should watch it just so I can say I belong on Tumblr. Dan, what's your favorite Muse album? That's tough. I think Origin of Symmetry might be my favorite one, but uh, Black Holes, Absolution, Black Holes and Revelations and The Resistance are all amazing. Favorite track on Wolf, said someone again. Uh, I effing hate you is really good. So is Rusty. I think he should have released that as a single instead of Domo 23, because he says better things about his life and stuff. So good. Oh my god. I was like, new title of the creator album? Hmm. What was it going to be like? And I heard like, I, I skipped through it on SoundCloud, but then I listened to that whole thing on one big block today on Spotify, and I was just like, damn, he has improved as a human and an artist. And I, because uh, I can appreciate people changing. Um, Spotify updates, said Maisie. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, okay, according to Spotify, who have I listened to the most? So offended, as usual. Probably hasn't changed, although it's been an entire week. Let's see what it says. Top artists for me are apparently Kendrick Lamar, Tyler the Creator, and Justin Timberlake, followed by My Chemical Romance, and then Alt J as a nice little top five. Uh, and then albums and artists on work. Oh, there we go. Tracks. No, nope, it's not working. They don't need to know. They don't need to know. They don't care. Albums is probably Black Parade. I listened to that twice. Do 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 do. You should watch Supernatural. Tell me, guys, who in the chat right now? Watches Supernatural, which is when everybody who watches Supernatural suddenly comments, making this an extremely inaccurate judge of how many people. Me! Suddenly everyone goes, Ugh! <laughs> Me! Is it good? I ask you. Suddenly everyone goes, Yeah, it's the best show ever! Okay. Very unhelpful. Read forums. As if I'm saying the forums are the best way to get opinions on something. It's definitely the worst way to place to ever. Tumblr, Twitter, or Facebook, said Charlotte B. They're all so different that that's a bit of a weird question. Because they're all so, like, Tumblr, you can't really relate them to Facebook and Twitter. Because Facebook is a way to kind of organize your social life. Twitter is when you tweet stuff. And Tumblr is just reblogging pics of dogs. <laughs> so it's like, they're not very comparable. Do, 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 do. No, it's too gory, said somebody. Is it? Twenty Ten is one of my favorite favorite directors. You also wouldn't like 
Dexter, Game of Thrones, or True Blood, which are three of my favourite shows, if you think Supernatural is too gory. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Do you have any advice for this YouTube channel growth? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to impart one little nugget of knowledge, um, which I have something to say, which is, don't get bogged down in marketing your videos. If you're an aspiring YouTuber, don't get bogged down with how to get new audience. Instead, just try to make good videos. A lot of people these days spend too long spamming big YouTubers' videos with, hey, I'm an aspiring blogger, come check me out, which people don't like, because it's kind of a bit annoying. And some people even used to, like, copy all the tags from Shane Dawson and Smosh videos just so they could be in the related videos. I mean, that's just, that is not the way to get your YouTube channel noticed. I'd say if you put half as much energy into making really good, cool videos that people will want to watch and talk about, as most people do coming up with clever ways to market themselves, then it will speak for itself, you know what I mean? How would you get the word out? Um, I had, well, everyone has different stories completely. Join followers on Tumblr or Twitter, or like I did on a website called Daily Booth, but I mean, really, it's, the whole thing is word of mouth. Word of mouth, you know what I mean? Hey, that's just that's just one little impartial nugget there. Have you got The Hobbit on DVD yet? Uh, might wait for the trilogy, and then buy it in a big nerdy box set, like I have the Lord of the Rings ones over there somewhere. What's your favorite Fallout Boy of the new album? Rat? No, I don't know. I I need, I need to listen to it more. I'll get back to you with that. This time next week. Let's say I'm sick, said Grace. Sorry, Grace. <laughs> Someone said my hashtag should be Ask the D. I like that. Okay. All right. Okay. So if we're going to do a Q&A like last week, because that was actually really fun, um, it's a good way to just talk about stuff too, because it's like reading the chat, but I can involve more people. What should we trend? Because I saw that like Ed Sheeran did a Q&A, but he didn't want it to just be Ask Ed, so it was like I love fish and chips or something. I, I wouldn't want it to just be Ask Dan Howell. Well, it could be Ask Dan Howell, because that's fucking what it is. Someone said Ask the Tallest Lesbian. I appreciate that it could be Ask the Tallest Lesbian, but then we'd kind of be implying that sexuality and appearance have any kind of correlation, which we probably shouldn't, you know what I mean? Because it would imply that I look like a lesbian, and then lesbians will probably be offended that lesbians are supposed to look like something, which isn't good. Okay, so hashtag we are not on fire. Hashtag Maltese overload. That, that, that's, that's awful. <laughs> Chloe, ask the big D. Yeah, I, I'm feeling something to do with the D. Ask the D. Hashtag we want the D. No. Ask the D. I, I, I kind of like that. Hashtag placenta, said Diamond. Thanks for trying, Diamond. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just get, filling with despair at half of these. Uh, <laughs> hashtag my D is not on fire. That'll just confuse a lot of people. Mm. Hashtag my penis. Yeah, Max, that's a good one. <laughs> hashtag... Howl in a towel. If I ever do a live show after a shower, then we can do that. I will never do a live show after a shower. I can guarantee that. Mmm. Hashtag eggs, said somebody. Yeah, that's that's good. Uh, <laughs> hashtag Dan caught the mouse. Hashtag you want the D. Hashtag we want the D. I don't want the D. Okay, are, are we feeling hashtag ask the D? I, I just can't think of anything. Who, who thinks that that one's the good one? I like that one. Okay, so let's have a Twitter Q&A then. If you're not on Twitter, like you have Facebook but not Twitter, you should probably just get a Twitter account just to stalk YouTubers and celebrities and people that you're interested in, even if you don't tweet, because I had, I had Twitter for a couple of years uh, and didn't tweet, but I still used it to follow people. So, I mean, if you're looking for a new way to procrastinate and get nothing done with your life, then you should get Twitter just to follow people and TV shows and stuff. Plus, then you can join in with things like this. Hey! So, uh, <laughs> um, I'll write a tweet about it now. Do, 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 do. Okay, guys. We're gonna have a little Q and A. Tweet now with hashtag... Ask the 
D and I'll answer them live right now and then a link to the room is probably a good way to do it. What is this? What the hell is the URL? Oh god. You know dot com slash Dan is not on fire. Well done, Dan. I'm working that out. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to have a little Q&A. Semicolon D. Tweet now with hashtag ask the D and I'll answer them live right now. What have I done? Yeah. Tweet. Okay. I'll search that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the new Paramore video? Said at Amy and Mars. Not yet. I really, really want to. I've got it in my watch later playlist on YouTube. Dan, will you ever come to Ireland? Said Hugs from Zehoran. Uh, yeah, I think that's safe to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How's life? Said Dan Howell. Pretty good, thanks. How's yours? At It's Liddy said, what's the most tabs you've ever had open at once? The other day I had like 60 tabs open because I unfriended like half of the people on my Facebook. Uh, at Love Humphreys said, why do you not have a specific schedule for YouTube? Because I don't have any help making my videos. A lot of big American YouTubers have people that film or edit their videos for them. Because I have to do everything myself and do all the other stuff in my life. It takes bloody ages. So, I mean, I already have pro bad... <laughs> it's already bad enough with getting it on the right day, never mind at, like, specifically 8pm. Maybe one time in the future. Do do do. At Guy PJ Cross said, can you get your nipples out? No, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Um, at Kelly underscore Monster said, Are you and Phil going to do the Super Amazing Project again this year? Um, me and Phil, we said that we were going to come back to do seasonal specials of the Super Amazing Project, but really, we, I mean, the Super Amazing Project just took so long to make, so we've kind of just taken all the best things about the Super Amazing Project and then put them into our radio show. So the radio show is the spiritual successor of it, because it's much more about involving the audience, but we will still do seasonal specials. Um, will you now break again? I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. I should probably sort my hair out if a bunch of people are going to be like, who the F is this on Twitter? My life. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. Happy birthday, said Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Hope you have a great day. At twerking Lester, said twerk for us. No, I'm not going to twerk. <laughs> At Hipster Howell said, do you get annoyed that people just associate you with placenta, oh, when the people associate you with placenta, llamas, Maltesers, and Mews? No, well, because, you know, those things are all things in the life of Dennis on Fire, but I can't get angry at young people for liking my videos, because you were young once, I was young once, I remember how much of an awful cringe I was, so that's why I tend, I don't get angry at young people just being young. Being happy. <laughs> Um, what do you think will be like at Elmo Eats Dan? I'm terrified of technological advances. Freaking terrified. Bloody hell. Favourite One Direction song, said At Howl Whore. Dunno. Uh, one Thing is just a very good song, I guess. Uh, what really happened with your undies in New Zealand, said At Neve 101. I was getting changed on a balcony at a hotel I was staying at in New Zealand and I dropped them off the edge. And then I ran down to the bottom of the building to get my underwear. It was, it was very traumatic. And one day I might tell you the full story. Might not, because I like to save my anecdotes <laughs> for videos I might want to make. Um, ooh, what's your favourite door handle? All the door handles in this house are just plain white. It's very bad. At Laura CCNW said, which radio show are you most proud of? Uh, I was really, really happy with the one we did last weekend. I just felt like it went really well and it was really funny. And you guys seem to like it. And it was cool because we had that band in that were good, even if they were a bit sneaky. One Direction and Wanted Feud said, at a wallflower. I wish it didn't happen. Peace and love, guys. Um, do, 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 do. Would you rather chop off your hands or go out with the Incredible Hulk? Uh, well, are you saying going out with the Hulk or the Doctor? Because, I mean, going out with the Doctor who could then turn into the Hulk would be tense but manageable because he seems like he's got control of it if we're going with Avengers universe. But if you're going out with the Hulk, I, I think he'd probably rip off my hands, so I might as well cut them off. You know what I mean? That's, it just seems like the logical answer to that question. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm not going to read that out. <laughs> if potatoes were blue, what would you call them? 
I don't know at Lura underscore May underscore. Why, why would the colour of potatoes change what they're called? Orange. Because oranges are orange. Potatoes aren't called per browner. Thanks. Did you get any strange looks when you bought the butt chair? Yes. Who would you like to do a live lounge with on the radio show? I don't know. Anyone. I like so many bands. It would just be cool. Anymore. What's your opinion on PewDiePie? I think he's really nice. I'd like to meet him one day. Dan Howell underscore Vivo, good hoarding of that name, said, How confusing is Final Cut Pro? Horrifically confusing. Becoming a YouTuber who uses big scary editing programs is a very, very steep learning curve. Uh, it's not very fun. <laughs> Although now I like editing. Editing's very fun for me now. Uh, Poe Brown knows his OMFG, said Francesca in the chat. I know, right? Jesus. Okay, um... When will you get more merchandise? Me and Phil have got those posters, which we freaking love. Were you thinking we could get more? Because, oh my god, it's number one. What have I done? Okay. Uh, how often does the Dan is not on fire tag on Tumblr make you punch yourself in the face? Well, Maddie underscore face, as I just said, I can't be angry at young people for acting the way that young people do. Because I was young once, and one day those people will be older, and they will probably look back and cringe at everything they ever did, because that's just humanity. <laughs> um, don't worry. I wish it was easier to find the good, the good stuff, but that's not how the internet works. Do 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 do. How's the personal trainer going? Said EJ Whiskers. Moving on very swiftly. Uh, do you like apples? Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Like. I, I like the taste of apples, but then, like, apple skin is just gross, you know what I mean? I love a good, my favourite kind of apple is just a like a freaking green apple, a sour as F green apple that's just like, mmm, you know what I mean? That's the best kind of apple. But I just, I don't like normal apples. <laughs> Do you pick the music videos you play on the radio on, or does someone else? Um, we pick a few of them, but what happens is, because obviously me and Phil don't have time to look through all the things, so we have um, producers, which is just the fancy name for people that help, and they pick them, and then we all sit together and we choose the ones that we like. So um, we do, but we don't watch all of them, because otherwise we, they wouldn't have a job, I guess. <laughs> the BBC would have to pay me and Phil more, which they don't want to do. Um, do, 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 do. Have you read the book of Requiem for a Dream? I haven't, but the movie is amazing at Cuddle the PJ. So, is the book good? You should tell me. Uh, so many would you rather questions that are just. Would you snog a tramp's dirty leg or do. <laughs> um, you have my poster in your studio twice. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Taylor, for sending that in. Will you ever stop playing with your hair, said Danny's on fire. No, I won't. That I won't, because it's a mess. I look like a, a, like a guy with a Lego haircut all day, and then as soon as I do a live show, it's like, kapoof, segment eight. I'm like, thanks, Jesus, for designing me this way. That was offensive. I just arrived. What did I miss, said Tilly S in the chat. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, I made you on The Sims. <laughs> new character turned gay. What do you think? Did you make me that way? Probably did. I don't want to know what you made the sim that you designed after me do. Or do I? No, I don't. I really, I really don't. Do I own sparkly shoes? Said asking Eczema. No, I don't currently. Although I saw some Giuseppe Zanotti shoes I really wanted and I was like, should I just not pay rent this month and buy these gold shoes? But then it sucks for me. I have size ten and a half feet, which any guy who's six foot tall probably has. But then like, uh, really cool shoes only come in like size 9 because they're designed for really short Asian guys so I'm always like Ugh. at Kate Holden said what was the apprentice meeting thingy about that we saw we uh, we made a video with a guy called Brett Domino who you might know off YouTube um, that's gonna be very cool at least I'm presuming he's cool he's good at doing stuff do, 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 do. best person you met at playlist met at playlist uh, well, I met lots of you guys, and you were all very cool. I'm not going to pick one of you guys that was my favourite person I met, because then that would <laughs> be mean to the rest of you. But, uh, let's think, what YouTubers did I meet? I had my first ever proper conversation with Jenna Marbles. Um, did I tell you guys? Because uh, last, last Playlist Live, um, I was really drunk at the YouTuber party. 
like every YouTuber is, and I accidentally touched her butt. Very awkward. Um, and then I saw her again in the queue to get drinks. What does that say about me and Jenna Marbles? I've only met her twice now, and it was in an alcohol queue. Um, and I was like, I touched your butt last year. And she was like, oh, did you? That's nice. And I was like, I'm Dan. And she said, oh, that Dan guy. She was probably lying, uh, but she knew who I was. But then we had like a five second awkward conversation and she got a tequila sunrise and then I went away and I fangirled internally. Do 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 do. Okay, what are more people saying? Would you shave your head for a room full of gummy bears? What that, why the F would I want a room full of gummy bears? Did you know that gelatin is made out of like pork feet? Ever since I found that, I never wanted to eat loads of Haribo or anything like that because I'm just looking at this, these like chewy sweets and I'm like, that's just ground up poof. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, at Rainbow the World says, do you play Portal? I did play Portal um, when it came out. One of the best games. One of the best games. Do, 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 ba, 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 ba. What weapon would you use in a zombie apocalypse? Um, common sense, uh, hiding, running away would be the priorities. And then any kind of sort of... Well, you know, with zombie apocalypse, if you're being honest, the more dramatic the weapon, the better it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, weapon of choice, I don't know, a fucking Death Star. Good luck, zombies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... Do, 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 uh, Did anyone do anything really weird to you at Playlist? Not really. Uh, a couple people said, can you kiss me on the cheek in our photo together? And I was like, uh, no, that's a bit awkward, not going to do that, <laughs> which I felt a bit bad saying, but you know, right, I can't really. Child Predator. Do you like the Resident Evil games at At Patrick Evans? Uh, well, I really love horror games, like me and Phil are massive Silent Hill 1, 2, 3 fans, but I never really liked Resident Evil that much, but, uh, I'm aware that they're getting less horror -y and more shootery, which I think is a... A shame. Do, 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 Who's your favorite radio on DJ? You have to say Grimmy or else I'll eat a lion, IDK. Um, Grimmy and Scott Mills are both really cool. They're the nicest ones. They're not nice ones. They're all nice, mostly. Are you excited for VidCon? I'm very excited for VidCon at I Love Tobuscus. Very excited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you like cheese? It said at your retarded underscore underscore. Nice name. Um... I do like cheese. A dangerous amount. Has Manish found you yet? Said Smosher Grace. No. I dated my hair black and blue. Do you hate me? Said Asta for Chicago Susie. Why would I? I think it's cool when people have cool hair colours. I'm not saying I'm not going to like you now until you uh, debore in your brown hair. I'm just saying that I, I'm, not, I'm not turned off by people who choose to dye their hair pink or whatever. Dun, dun. Manchego is the most dangerous of all cheeses, said someone in the chat. Fantastic. Is it? Is that a fact? Is that a fact that I should know? Have the BBC brainwashed you? Yes, I, I, I did climb into the Illuminati uh, bathing pool and now I have no soul. Can I spend one second just to sort out my fringe? Because, like, what? What is going on? It's the wind in London. It's being on the tube. There we go. I, I won't touch it anymore. That's a lie. And that's not a promise. <laughs> Do you wish your hair was naturally straight, said Josephine? Um, not really. I like having the option. It's still, like... Anytime my hair gets wet, I look like a hobbit, and then I can just straighten it for two minutes. Whereas if I ever wanted, I like the, uh, um, okay, at JDG said, hashtag ask the D. Look what I found on the internet. Do you have anything to say for yourself, you saucy minx? There's a picture of a guy in some American Eagle pants. That's not me. That's one of the, that's one of the pictures of the many, many naked people that look like me that aren't me. If you didn't know this, or you have no idea who I am and you want to know an interesting fact, uh, I have a very weird face, and I don't really see anyone that looks like me. It's hard, like, there's no, like, famous people that look like me. But then, the internet has found been very good at finding uh, mostly gay porn stars that have my exact face, and that was a photo of one of them. You saw that. Um, if you Google, like, Dan's lookalikes, you'll find them. Although, you might not want to. <laughs> it's freaky. Whose dick are we asking? Said, at currently lost. Mine. Um... I mean, I, I, let's all take a moment to just appreciate that Ask the D is trending. That's congratulations on everybody. What a, 
Let's let's ruin the internet every week. We're very good at it, aren't we, guys? We're very good. Do you have Snapchat? No, I don't fully understand what it is. But I understand it's a way that you can send horrific selfies of yourself or nudes to people. I I don't know what Snapchat is. Your favorite dessert? I don't, whoa, mythical nom nom! You can't just ask me what my favorite dessert is in a whole universe of dessert possibilities. Creme brulee is dessert of the day. Let's go with that. Do you like Paramore? I said at Smosh Base. Yes. <laughs> uh, what's the best part of living in London? Said Katie to the Hughes. Everything happens in London and it's where all my friends live, which is obviously an important thing with where you live. Have you ever cried watching a film? Yes, Bright Lights. I'm not a soulless, horrible person. Although I've never seen The Notebook. I haven't seen The Notebook. So I, I, really, I really want to see The Notebook and see how much I cry. I'll probably cry so much I cry blood if I end up watching The Notebook if it destroys everybody's life. Does it destroy everybody's life? I think it does, doesn't it? I think that's, that's a thing, isn't it? You, watching The Notebook. Are you high maintenance, said at Kinky B Tree? No, I'm extremely uh, low maintenance. <laughs> My life is. Uh, where did your love for Delia Smith come from? Yeah, if you, if you have no idea, um, I made a video uh, two years ago, yeah, two years ago, quite recently, called How to Make British Pancakes, which is uh, a Delia Smith recipe for how to make pancakes. And uh, me and Phil, uh, my friend, um, have done a couple cooking tutorial videos, and we like using Delia Smith recipes as it's kind of like a running joke now. And now it's very much a running joke. Do you like Smosh, said Emma E. Yeah. Anthony was like the main guy I hung out with at uh, Players Live. He's the coolest person ever. Did you know that creme brulee means burnt cream, said at the Vamps Lily? I didn't know that, but now that makes sense. Yeah. At 16-bit Laura said, I didn't cry watching The Notebook, is that weird? It probably means um, that you don't have a soul if you didn't cry watching The Notebook. Just if you had the option to go to a One Direction concert, would you, said Miss Jessie. If I could go in the back door, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess. Why not? Just to see what it's like. I almost thought Tenacious D was having a Q&A Twitter session, said At Seek and Destroy. Sorry, I'm very sorry to disappoint you. Although I like that someone who likes loads of metal follows me. Let's see, he says that he likes Cannibal Corpse, Exodus, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, Motorhead, Judas Priest, Amon Amarath, Immortal, Amina, Uh I don't like Cannibal Corpse. I don't like, like, I like metal, but I'm not really into, like, metal core. This is applying to, like, 10% of the people watching this. But, like, if I listen to metal, I listen to, like, Metallica, or, I guess, System of a Down kind of count, or Trivium. I like things to be a bit more melodic, so it's not that I don't like screaming, because I really like Dimmu Borgir, who are obviously like freaking Norwegian Satan metal, but because their music is basically like Lord of the Rings metal, it's really cool. I find that metalcore and grindcore is a bit too melody-less, unless it's really progressive, like something like Between the Buried and Me. There you go, that's my mini little conversation there. Although, in relevant news, I like Bring Me The Horizon's new song that we played on our radio show. Funky, right? Do, 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 do. Is it bad that I've never cried at a film before, said Iona Fleck. You've probably never just seen any depressing films. You Google, like, most depressing films ever. <laughs> um, worst band ever, said Kiara Tiara. I, I'd tell you, but then there'd probably be a couple people here that are fans of them, and then they'd go on insane hate rampages against me, and I don't want that to happen, so... <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What would you do without the internet? Die is not a correct answer. I would die, Paula Sully. I would die without the internet. Go in the back door, really? Yep, I made a bum reference when I was talking about One Direction gig, and I didn't even realise. And I think I'm the one with the corrupted mind. I didn't even make that connection. Do, 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 do. My mum knows Delia Smith. Are you jealous? Said Ellie on toast. Yes. Hook me up. <laughs> uh, how often do you embarrass yourself? Said Shan, 41700. Uh, every day, probably at least five times. I'm just going to say. How do you say soup? Said Luke's 69 beanies. Soup. Do you want some soup? A cup of soup. Butternut squash soup. Oriental tomato soup. There we go. <laughs> Did that change your life? Um, what colour braces should I get? Said at Niles Mofo. Multicoloured. A rainbow going from left to right. <gasps> Do that, that would be cool. 
Have you ever had a bad haircut? If so, explain. Yes, I am a kitty. Every single haircut I had in my life until I was about 18 and a half. Seriously, when I have my curly curly hair, and I go into really cheap freaking barbers, where it's like £4 for a haircut, and I'm like, Make me look like this guy from a band! And they're like, uh, yeah, we usually just kind of like, shave everyone's hair off. I, it did, it just didn't work, until I was about 18. And then I went into an Indian guy, coughed over 30 pounds, and I was like, oh, this kind of works. Although now I go to some really scary London hairdresser that cuts Nick Grimshaw's hair. He's really nice, but I, re I feel like I'm not cool enough to get my hair cut by him, so I'm just terrified. Constantly terrified. I don't, I don't know, like, do you guys just feel awkward when you talk to your hairdressers? Or do you like talking to your hairdressers? I feel like I'm not cool enough to have mine, so I just spend the whole time being like... That's basically it. And Danny C, who wanted me to make a funny face. There we go, you got your wish. Accidentally. Scone or scone, said at Jaden Cock. Or Jade Hancock. Yep, die, oops. Jade Hancock. <laughs> um, scone. I'm southern, I say scone. Scone? Spread some clotted cream on your scones. Scone? Who the hell says scone? What? <laughs> uh, did, did, do. You should see Les Miserables. I should. I still haven't. I missed out loads of those movies. I never freaking saw Zero Dark Thirty and I really wanted to see that. Uh, do you shower naked? Said at Kick the Nicky. Duh. No. I shower in all of my clothes. <laughs> If you had the choice, who would you like to have dinner with? Anyone dead or alive? This is the time when everyone just goes, Morgan Freeman? You know, it would, it would be Morgan Freeman, wouldn't it? If you could have dinner with everybody. The Dalai Lama. He'd be an interesting guy to have a conversation with. You say scone wrong, said somebody. No, you say scone wrong. Go back to your minds. <laughs> I'm joking. These comments are so weird, said Bianca. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. How many tabs open do you have at the moment? I have Fall Out Boy's album on SoundCloud, Gmail, headphones, my Facebook page, Twitter, and Tumblr. There you go. That's, I usually have like seven. Someone said, oh, at Horan Tissue said, what's your opinion on spiders? Generally, hate spiders. I saw my first spider of the year earlier today, and I was like, it begins! It was in the kitchen. It was a freaking tiny one. It was like this big. It was like, um, it was like that. Uh... And I was like, oh no, this means that the worst is yet to come. Fantastic, great, magical. Spotify update, said Rachel. It was still Kendrick Lamar <laughs> this week. I'll probably be Tyler the Creator next week. Lama, hashtag ask the D. Thanks at Unleash the Midnight Beast. Um, should I send you some American candy? No, Harry, please don't. We get given too much American candy. We desperately... I mean, we barely walk off the American candy that we eat. Do, do, do. Did you know that I'm wearing a llama hat? No, SDTV Rosie. Good fact. Will you ever go back to uni, said I'm like Manish. No, because I've kind of found a weird job on the internet. Um, so I don't have to. But unless you're very businessy minded and confident about your own ability to control your life, you should probably go to college. That is my honest opinion. Uh, <laughs> Go to university, get a degree. It opens doors. And if you want to get a job at Google or something cool, then you need, you need it. Is the teddy behind you yours? Said underscore just a fangirl underscore. It's a Mamma Mia teddy bear that my grandma got me after she went to see a West End musical. Because that's just how hardcore I am. At Chelsea Chops 96 said, How is the One Direction poster not scaring you in your bathroom? Um, it does. <laughs> it freaking terrifies me. Seriously, closing the door, if you haven't seen yet, um, my last video that I posted on my YouTube video was an apartment tour uh, where you got to see around my house and there's a bit in the bathroom where you see the giant One Direction poster I have on the inside of my door. If you haven't seen it, um, I guess if you hover your mouse over my face right now, uh, does this work? Uh, yeah, you'll see a thing there that says, my YouTube. If you click on that, then you can find out the story behind the Giant One Direction poster in my toilet. And yes, it does freaking terrify me. Daily. Seriously. The whole of Scotland are throwing their scones at you right now as I tell her up in. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm starting beef with everybody up north. What's your favourite Dexter season, said Akhuddle the PJ? It's 
good two questions. Hey, you're asking good ones. I uh, season four is the best season of Dexter. The Trinity Killer is one of the best villains of all time. It was just freaking poetic. That season of Dexter was art, wasn't it? You know what I mean? At Matthew Bellamy said, do you have a favourite member of Muse? It's been three years and I still can't decide on one. Uh, yeah, no, they're all so good. The thing is, with this, because there's only three, I don't feel like I have to choose. So, Because, I mean, Matt is Matt and he's amazing. And then Dom, I mean, everyone wants to be like, Dom is my favourite member of Muse. And then people are like, but Chris, Chris. But then you're like, ah, but, you know, Matt's Matt. It's, it's too hard. It's too hard. Do, 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 do. At Kicked the PJ said, remember this? What well, the photo I tweeted with loads of cream in my hair. Had a haircut, yeah. It was, it was a good look I was going for. Loads of people freaked out. I, uh, I once had my hair chemically straightened, and I took a picture of me with my hair, like, scraped loads of cream, and everyone thought I was bleaching my hair white. No, I will never bleach my hair white. <laughs> do do. At Lucas Fantasy said, what if the door to my future gets stuck, then what do I do? Sit on Tumblr all day and join YouTube. Well, that's clearly the, the lesson that I'm trying to tell the world now, isn't it? To be honest. At Lewis Parker 1995 said he just saw someone tweet, what the F is Ask the D. Great, thank you. I've, <laughs> I've officially achieved what I've wanted. I've scared the internet. What's your opinion on chicken nuggets? I don't eat chicken nuggets anymore. I just don't know, like, it's been so, so long. Everyone says, guess the crime. Did guess the crime just happen? Okay, whenever you hear a siren, you have to say guess the crime. Chat, what was it? What was it? What, what was it? What crime was it that those police people just tried to stop? The winner gets nothing, and Rachel B is the first person to say necrophilia. Great, followed by Erin, and Grace, and Sam, and Kenzie, and Charlotte. Thank you to all of you for typing necrophilia in about eight seconds. I'm very proud of you. Someone was saying hashtag YOLO swag was the crime. Uh, good, good. The Llama Song, said Julia P. What does, what does that mean? An Atacop just attacked. That's, um... Burns, said Claudia. <laughs> just demons, just generally. A vegan drank milk. Boom! That's what happened. Vegan drank milk, and the vegan police from Scott Pilgrim came. That was the crime. That was the crime. Andrea Saxton said, I don't like Llamas Maltese's muse, and they're not socially awkward. Well, then clearly, you can't watch Dan is Not On Fire, because that's my life, isn't it? That's my life. Thanks for the tweet, Andrew. Um, ba, ba, ba. What's your favourite cheese? I don't know. I'm going to say Cranberry Wensleydale for now. It's a good one if you haven't tried it. I recommend it. Mm. How does being the first worldwide trend feel? Uh, it's not that big a deal, because everybody trends everything when anything happens, but it's nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um... Someone said they just googled the Dan is Not On Fire lookalikes and found a picture of a girl giving birth? Good! So does that mean that I look like a straining woman or I, I literally look like a vagina with something coming out of it? Which of the two represents my face in that situation? Do I want to know? At Rachel and Tara said, if anyone ever recognised you in the street, does it creep you out when they hug straight away without asking? Generally speaking, I would prefer if someone said hi before they grabbed me, otherwise I'd probably think I'm in the process of getting murdered. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever see me walking around, uh, wave before tackling me. Someone did that once at Thought Park and I nearly soiled myself violently. Um, have you ever physically recovered from falling off your chair yet, said at Amazing Eleanor. I have. The floor hasn't, but don't tell Phil or the estate agents. <clears throat> Wish me a happy birthday and I won't hurt you, said Charlie. Thanks. Okay, happy birthday. Good cake, hopefully. Woo! Uh, would you rather bum a mouse or eat a spider? Good question, not so gifted, Lucy. Do the condom challenge. Do I... Do, no. <laughs> if you could have any famous person follow you, who would it be? Again, the, the Pope. The Pope. I want at Pontifex to follow me. Should I send you a sombrero? Yeah, then I can tap into my, my heritage, Sammy PL. That's good. At Maltesers Reese. Just said, she said, necrophilia out loud. And now her mum is staring at her like she's crazy. This is what I've done to the world. Thank you. Okay, you like Game of Thrones and Dexter, said Et Fay Markham 18. Do you like Breaking Bad? Yes. I uh, Am I completely up to date on Breaking Bad? Or have I not finished watching season five? I think I've got like six episodes until I've watched it uh, all. 
and it's amazing. I think it's really good. Amazing, it is. I personally prefer Game of Thrones. And I think I maybe prefer Dexter just because it's more fun and a bit more colourful, even if it's less gritty and serious. There's this thing where it's like, it's very hard for people to take things completely seriously and say they're the best unless they're really gritty and serious. You know what I mean? So it's like, if there's a bunch of sh uh, films nominated for the Academy Award, usually it's the really, really serious one that does, and anything that's too fantasy-like is usually snubbed a bit. You know what I mean? So it's like... Um, Breaking Bad is extremely, extremely realistic. And then people say that things like True Blood isn't good because it's theatrical. But then, you know, how can something be about vampires that constantly have sex with each other and be completely realistic? You know what I mean? Do, do, do. OMG, please make a Draw My Life for your next video. I don't know, was that the most voted for thing after my video? They'll just have to go find out, I guess. Uh, do you like Johnny Depp? Of course I do, at the Alice one. Who doesn't like Johnny Depp? Ballerina said Shifty Starkid. No, I, I fall over when I stand still. I, I, yeah, that work as a ballerina. I would not work as a ballerina. <laughs> Favourite Lady Gaga album? Uh, I guess Born This Way is probably the best album overall, but it's hard to deny that the fame had better singles. She would became more of an artist with Born This Way though, especially with her music videos. Uh, if you're a superhero, what powers would you have? Generic question too. Invisit psych mind reading, telekinesis, telekinesis. I throw sporks at people when they are mean to me. <laughs> I like that someone's called Jack Scap Unblock Me, and then their at handle is Montana Anna. Were you spamming Jack Harry's? Because they don't appreciate that. See, I don't have the balls to block people if they say something mean to me, because I'm just afraid of the shitstorm. Other people don't give a shit about the shitstorm, and they'll just block people. I'm afraid of shitstorms, so I, I just ignore everything now. <laughs> um, why are you doing this in the middle of the night? Uh, well, it's, it's not even 10pm in England, so I'm sorry that you live in Russia, probably. What's your favourite fruit? Last week I said nectarine. Uh, this week I'm going to say fruit of the week is dragon fruit. If you haven't tried it, then try it. It looks freaky. Did you know my hair smells like strawberries? You're full of lies, aren't you? What's your favourite sleeping position? I have to sleep on my side, which is weird. Um, I usually get into bed and just stay there lying completely straight until I get comfy, and then I just roll over. Ugh, dragon fruit, said Hannah P. Whoa, what did dragon fruit do to you? I bet there was some drama there. Some awkward history, definitely. Um, let's see what else is saying. I'll click all and see what the most recent stuff is. Is the Fantastic Force in real? No, we're not actually friends. We hate each other. It was uh, an agency. Uh, have you sold your ripped jeans yet? Said at T-Malt. No, I'm, I'm waiting to find a really creepy German... 50 year old man that wants to buy them for £10,000. Uh, are you afraid of bees? I'm not afraid of bees, I'm a fan of bees. I'm afraid of wasps because they're just freaking evil monsters, but um, if I see a bumblebee, I'm like, I love you. I love bumblebees. Aren't bumblebees the best thing ever? Like, they're just so fat, aren't they? They're so fat. I love bumblebees, but I hate wasps. <laughs> um, say theatrical again, said Profangirl. There we go. What's the last thing you ate? Shocked. How surprised are you on a scale of 1 to 10? How does this make you feel? It said uh, Hershey Jade. It's a picture of a cat with a duck's head photoshopped onto it. Scared. Have you seen that thing where it's like uh, a guy took a photo of loads of kittens but with their face feeling uh, head the wrong way? And it's supposed to make you feel really weird because you don't get the cuteness of the kitten's face and your body freaks out. And I, I freaked out. I was like, I need the cuteness, you can't just do this to me. It's like in The Simpsons, in that episode where Homer eats the chili and freaks out and goes on that drug trip and then he runs around Marge and can't see her face. Google kittens, and it's probably in some kind of news story on Reddit or something. Are you high? said Becca underscore 42. I'm not high, but when I do these things I kind of have to be a bit hyper and energetic or people think that I'm bored or sad or sleepy. <laughs> so yeah. Um, have I ever been to Japan? Said Dan is not of fire. Uh, 
Thank you for confusing everybody. Um, no, I haven't. And I really, really, really want to go to Japan one day. Gosh damn. Oh, hey, Troy Savan, who was trying to talk to me. Sorry. Um, do, 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 do. How are you not bored of Maltesers yet? Just, yeah, you can't say that. I have a Megan Fox thumb. Should I be proud of it or ashamed? Proud. You can... What 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 things can you do with a big thumb? Um, I my mind just went to about fifteen extremely inappropriate things you could do with a big thumb, so I'm just going to drop this right now before I get arrested. <laughs> um, do an American accent, not live. You'll just judge me. Have you said the song "Your Mother's Got a Penis"? Of course I have. Um, at Extraordinaries just tweeted at me, do you ship Larry Stylinson X44, implying that they've sent this to me. Oh, they've, they've sent that to me 51 times now. Thanks for spamming me with, do you like Larry Stylinson? Yeah, that's it. No, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> Are you secretly Jamaican? Yep, yeah, I am. Do you like my icon? Said somebody with a horrific photo of me in some kind of vortex at the center juice. I do. I appreciate that. Add Amy Trainor found a picture of dragon fruit. So cool, right? It's the coolest looking fruit. Probably. Probably. Um, let's round this up so I don't want to keep people up too late. Why do you keep ignoring me? Said at Fan Wars. It's not deliberate. You're probably just not saying interesting enough things. I'm joking. Uh, oh, here we go. Bertie out applied me with something. What's he saying? Preferential. Do you bathe in the blood of our sweet, merciful Christ? Uh, I, I used to. Then I got kicked out. Because, you know, the kind of things that we all do in the bath? Turns out they don't like you doing it in the baptism pool. Have you spoken? No, I'm not going to say, answer that question because that has a very bad word beginning with the letter C. Lol. Perform your favourite Shakespearean monologue for us. What, what, right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna break out. I had to play Benvolio in a obvious production of Romeo and Juliet. Worst character ever. Seriously. Who studied Romeo and Juliet here? It's so bad. Sinead said, is he on Twitter? I am on Twitter. <laughs> click, click the Twitter button down there. If you, if you don't know who I am, because you came off Twitter and you're really confused. Um, the Facebook button links to my Facebook. The Twitter button links to my Twitter. That can make you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which you should do if you don't know me, because that's the entire reason I freaking exist. And if you're new to these live shows and you have no idea what's happening, all you have to do to join in is sign in with Facebook in the top right hand corner, then click become a fan after you've pressed skip, 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 allow and all that stuff. Thank you to everyone who does that. Yeah, anyway, uh, Benvolio is cool. He's cool, but he doesn't have any like, cool lines. All the poetry goes to Romeo and, you know, obviously Mercutio is a really cool character. But then Benvolio just has the, the most awkward lines ever. His speech at the end, which is like, um, uh, did blah, Tybalt is slain, whose Romeo's hand did not slay. And blah, blah, withdrawal, begged your something, something. It's just it's the worst. Being Benvolio is awful. You're like, everyone else is cool, and I suck. It'd be cool to be the prince and just bust into the scene like, rebellious subjects, motherfucker. Um, Dan isn't going to notice me. Good night, said Parahor. Isn't life sad and depressing? I didn't call Romeo and Juliet really bad. I just said I didn't have fun playing Benvolio because he was a bad character. <laughs> I'm not going to insult Shakespeare. Shakespeare's good. Do you cringe over your old videos, said Yoda's mistress. Yes, insanely. Every single YouTuber in the entire freaking world deletes all their old videos. The only reason I don't do that is because I'm so freaking terrified of you guys making a massive shitstorm. And actually, I like it because it shows how I've improved over time. Uh, I actually, I, whenever I see my oldest videos, I'm like, I was that shit. And it serves as inspiration for anyone else that wants to start making YouTube videos. Because if I can go from the most awkward, slow editing ever on an awful webcam to doing what I do now, then someone said, but they were good. They were good, but I've become a lot better at making them. Uh, so, yeah, they, they serve there as an inspiration to other people. <laughs> how does it make you feel that I know exactly how you smell? Said at uh, I deleted any. Um, scared. I was Ben Volio and it was awful, said that Beth is not amazing. I know, right? What's your favourite microwave, said somebody? What does that even mean? What was your least favourite subject at school? PE. It was just it was Nazis. I Don't force me to exercise. I can't do that. Um, mm -mm -mm. Grow dreadlocks, said Blazy XO. No. What? What? Okay. <laughs> right. Um, 
What is the youngest you would date, said Kira Hill 3. I understand that whoever you are, why you might ask me the question, what, what, what is the youngest you would date, but um, I hope you also appreciate that that's a very weird question. It's a very weird question that I'm not going to answer. <laughs> How does this make you feel? said somebody, linking me to a photo of my face onto a pink unicorn uh, inspired that my followers have a sense of humour. Everyone just keeps finding pictures of pregnant women and saying that that's what it looks like when they Google image search a picture of my face. That's good. That's fantastic. So, okay. This is good. This is the end. Last three questions. This is when I get three really rubbish questions. Okay. Caitlin wants to know what your favourite font is. I really like Helvetica, because it's just beautiful. Impact, which I use a lot in my videos, because Impact is also a beautiful font, isn't it? It's just, I don't know, it's, it's the cheeseburger one, but when, when you don't make it too garish, it's just so neat. Love a bit of Impact. Um, will you come to New York? Said Pointless Emma. Of course, I'd love to go to New York at some point. And then, what's your favourite video that you've made? Ever? I don't know. Um, what not to do at the cinema, I viewed as a turning point of like, this is a really good video, I'm happy with that. I Will Go Down With The Ship was the first video where the idea that I had in my head, the original ambitious idea, turned out exactly the way I wanted to, even maybe even slightly better, so I'm very happy with that one. But also my last video that I made, um, my apartment tour, I was, I, I was really happy with that, so was quite good. Um, so I said, do you like Kendrick Lamar and System of a Down? Yep, I'm that guy that likes literally every genre of music in the entire world. <laughs> Favourite Muse album? I said earlier, it's probably Origin of Symmetry. Okay, and coming to a slow, slow halt. We all know your grandma's favourite musical. What's yours? I don't know. Chicago? I'm about to see Book of Mormon soon. That might be my favourite. I'll get back to you on that. What's the weirdest thing you've been sent? A box of tampons with pictures of my face individually stuck to them. And where's the coolest place you've ever been? The royal temple in Thailand, which is like a Buddhist temple where everything's gilded. That was pretty awesome. Okay, that, that was an epic Q&A that we just had. I still, um, I love that we completely ruined Twitter and hashtag Ask the D is still trending. That's, it's impressive. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> How are we all doing then? That was fun. We'll do that next week with an even more confusing one. Uh, there will be a new video this weekend because I've already made it. Bazinga. When is the BBC cam going international? I don't know, hopefully very soon because we, we really want it to. My dad got thrown down ten rows of stairs. What? Somebody got a haircut, didn't they? Yeah, I did. I like. I, I took in a picture of Jong Yun from Shiny. Let me show. You. you like System of a Down, Kendrick Lamar, and K-pop? Welcome to the world of Dan. <laughs> Aren't I a weird person? Okay, here's the picture of the guy that I wanted to get my haircut like. Bearing in mind that I've been walking around uh, a tube. This is when my friend texts me, just saying. Penis, 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 penis. I'm not going to hold my phone up to the screen because definitely everyone's going to tweet me weird things now. So, yeah. He was in a car accident, said somebody. Uh-oh, that's not good. Get all soon. <laughs> do you like Marmite? I do like Marmite. Okay. So, um, what was that weirdest thing you got again? A box of tampons in my face. Search Dan Mail 2 on YouTube. Do the hair the other way. Why? It looks exactly the same, but just slightly worse. It's 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 cut to make sense this way. So if I look, no, that just looks right. That just looks weird. I break in the universe. So, yeah, this has been uh, epically fun. Thank you for your TV show recommendations earlier. I'll get on that. Um, I'll I'll look up whether Supernatural is a good show or not. <laughs> um, is Bitcoin similar to Playlist? It's yeah, it's similar, but Vicon's a lot more corporate because it's the official one. But it's a lot more organised, probably. Pros and cons, yo. Did you get your name from Alexis on fire? Nope, I was just a totally random thirteen-year-old. Like, there's probably lots of totally random people talking about llamas and placentas in here, and that's just the magic of humanity, guys. What's the last movie you saw? What is the last movie I saw? 
I saw Argo recently. That was good. It was very bad grammar. Does it make you laugh? It does, but I left school not knowing what semicolons do, so I, I never get too Nazi-ish about grammar. Like, seriously, what the F is a semicolon? Please tell me. <laughs> Please teach me. Um, watch BBC Sherlock? Of course I have. Silver Linings Playbook, said Magdalena. Silver Linings Playbook was the last movie I watched, and it was really good. It was very good. And, yeah, so this has been really fun. Those of you that are probably in Eastern Europe are crying because it's about 4 a.m. And those of you in Australia, unless you're on school holidays, are either missing or late for school right now. So I'm going to go, as I don't want to be too selfish. This has been really awesome. I do these, um, and suddenly everyone's telling me how to use semicolons. I'll look it up later, guys. <laughs> okay, so... Um, this has been really cool. Uh, I will upload a new video this weekend. I'll try to make it Friday. That's not a promise. Saturday at the latest, but I will try to make it Friday. You can work out what it is if you see what was the most voted for video at the end of my viewer takeover 1 million special. And for those of you who like this show and are new, I do this roughly every Tuesday around this time. I'll tweet if it's not around 9pm. Uh, and if you want to join in, sign in with Facebook, skip, skip, skip. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, fan button. Da -da -da -da. Thanks everybody, have a really good week, this was really fun, uh, whatever the rest of your day is like at work or school, try not to have the worst time ever, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye guys, it's been fun, have a good week, go sleep, go do homework, go do sit-ups and eat vegetables, yeah.